they're doing is they're bringing in about 115,000 cubic yards of sand to place along five miles of a beach that they had previously constructed. And it's going to raise it and not necessarily widen it, but it's going to provide some additional shore protection, uh, flood protection functions for all of the uh, sort of the buildings and the infrastructure behind it. In addition, it'll be good for turtle nesting and, and all kinds of functions that our, that our beaches provide. For this particular project and actually for the next county project, we're looking to use sand from uh, upland sand mines. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, it's, uh, we believe that it's a better texture and size of sand. We think the color is better and it's definitely got less uh, very fine material. So all of those we think will provide a lot of benefit to both the environment and the uh, sort of the, the shore protection functions of beaches here in Broward County. This is a public works project. I mean, it's moving huge volumes of sand, but it's doing it in a very, a, a very people-intensive area. It's an area where people want to go and recreate and enjoy nature and, and, and everything else. So part of the project planning that we look into and do is to try to both be cost-effective as well as environmentally and, and you know, customer-sensitive. Got it covered, so in the event of wind, you don't have any sand blowing. They've got crews there that, as it transfers uh, to different elevations, if there is any spillage, it gets swept up immediately and put back on the belt. And it appears to be a very clean, quiet, uh, inobtrusive uh, operation to get sand from point A to point B, which is what, what we really love to see on these projects. <laughs>